Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this Hawkeye font from the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. So what you first want to do is get onto Illustrator, open up a document of any size, I've just got 920 by 1080 Then you are going to want to download this font called New Zeit Grotesque, whatever however you pronounce it, you got to download it. So all you got to do is go to Chrome, go to Adobe Fonts, and then type that in. So New Zeit, and then here it is. Uh, you can download any one you want. I think I just went with the regular font. So yeah, just download the regular one and you'll be good to go. Then hop on to Illustrator. And what you're gonna wanna do is just write simply whatever you wanna write instead. Or if you wanna write Hawkeye or any word you want. I'm just gonna write tutorial here. And it's always handy to have a little example image here of the font, so you can just get that from Google Images, copy and paste it into the document, and we can delete that later. So what you wanna do here is select the text you've written and then select the eyedropper tool and just select the yellow color from the Hawkeye font. So there we go, we've got that color there. Now what you wanna do is select the rectangle tool, which is up here, and just start from the whole page like this. Yep, so cover the whole document and then just fill it with, you could even get the eyedropper tool again and select this black if you want to be that thorough, but you can just select any black really. Then what you want to do is go over to the layers panel here and then select that rectangle and put it just under the font. So the font is coming out above the background. Next thing you want to do is select the font go up to object and hit expand and then yeah tick that tick that and then press ok now we're gonna do that little that little purple circle in the A and we're gonna do it we could do it any you can do it anywhere but I'm gonna do it in this little uh, O here so just select the ellipse tool so it's on here right click and then ellipse tool then while holding shift just make that circle, yeah, yeah, and then you just want to rearrange it a bit, so it's kind of in the middle of the O. Yeah, and once you've done that, just select the eyedropper tool again, and make sure that that circle is selected, and then go down here, eyedropper, select the purple. Yep, yeah, I think the circle's a little too big, so I'm just going to shorten it, but... Yeah. There we go. Mm, I might even, I might even make it even more smaller. <laughs> there we go, that's in the center, perfect. Now what we're going to do is make this, this, uh... These circles that are going around that little circle, these grey outlines. So, select the ellipse tool again. This, and make sure it's a little bigger than whatever letter you're doing. So, make it a bit bigger than that. It's going to look a bit weird at first, but then what you want to do is go to fill here and then click this one so it gets rid of the fill but then go to stroke and make the stroke two two point yeah and then make the color of the stroke a gray color you can do you could do the eyedropper thing again and take the gray from here or just make it any gray you want Yeah, so I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. And then once you've done that, just uh, do Control-C on the keyboard, 
which will copy it. Make sure this gray thing, the gray circle selected, control C and then control V, which will paste another one. What you want to do is line it up. Put this one and then hold shift, make it a bit bigger. like that and then we're gonna repeat that process so make sure that one's selected do control C and then control V and you'll get another one line it up and just make it bigger Yep, so it looks like that. But you will notice that this, these uh, circles are probably overlining the font. So just go back to the Layers tool, find the ellipses, and then just make sure they are below the font itself. So grab that, drag it down here. There we go. All right, next we're gonna make this arrow. So um, I'm gonna put the arrow on this L over here. So we'll go over here to this L. Then we will select the pen tool, which is right here. Then we're just gonna click there, go out, hold shift, go out as far as you want. So let's say there. And go up here, align it like that so that you get that pink line that shows that you are in the middle of the eye. Then click and do the same over here while holding shift. Click, click. Yep, so once you've done that, just go to the eyedropper tool again with that selected, and then click on the yellow then you should get an arrow like that. And you can fiddle with it a bit to make it more, you know, more straight just by doing that. Easy. Yep, so now we have the arrow, the circles, the little circle. Um, you could also put a Marvel Studios logo in there, just search up Marvel Studios PNGs and then you can just drop one in and put it above that if you really want to do that. But yeah, that's essentially how you do the Hawkeye font. Um, one way to group it all is just to select it all, well, not that one, select all of this, right click and then do, uh, what was it, group. So then it all becomes one group. Then you can right click again and do I believe it's export selection and you can export it. So yeah, that is how you do the Hawkeye font from the Disney Plus show. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you later.